They're not sending their best. They're sending people that have lots of problems. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. But we have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. We must immediately suspend immigration. We don't want them in our country. Hillary Clinton has called Donald Trump to concede the race. Pennsylvania goes to Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the president of the United States. When I thought I could do deportation cases, uh, that I found that area to be very difficult. People are detained. They call you night and day. Their families call you night and day. You know, so it just becomes overwhelming. If you're an entrepreneur, uh, balancing that work life, um, your personal life can be very challenging. My name is Eden Fasazian. I'm Eritrean American. I have been in the U.S. Um, for over 25 years. I'm an attorney. I have my own firm and I work um, mainly with um, uh, immigrants and um, refugees, um, mainly in the Clarkston, uh, Stone Mountain um, area. I think law for me was by process of elimination. <laughs> Some people like, you know, from the get-go, they know what they want to study, they want to be an attorney. Uh, we actually don't have any attorneys in our family, but um, I did political science, loved that, and sociology as a major. And then I worked for the Senate, uh, the Georgia Senate, with the research office for uh, five years. And a lot of the policy analysts there were attorneys, and so I, you know, I uh, decided to go to law school. I went through the immigration process myself, so I understand it better, I feel like, than, you know, than somebody who has gone, who has not gone through the process. And so, just even to begin with, I was helping a lot of um, immigrants, uh, refugees. Um, it's, the immigration process sometimes is very hard to navigate. And so I was doing a lot of pro bono work already in the community, um, and um, it just came natural. It just, it just came natural to me. There are a number of um, number of um, cases that kind of stick, you know, stick with me. Robbie and Rosa, um, I can't say without without a smile they're a wonderful couple he's um he's you know he's from florida but he's a u.s citizen and she's brazilian and so they have uh, they had a beautiful you know um relationship been together for three years and you know so we um straightened her paperwork my name is robbie and this is my wife Rosica. rosa rosa and uh, i'm originally from fort Lauderdale, florida and Rose is from Brazil, and uh, she's the best person I've ever met in my life, my best friend, you know. So that she can, you know, she can get a work permit and uh, become a green card holder, and they, and they travel everywhere now. Having Eden work with us was such a great support because when you're doing the immigration part of it, it requires really good expert. If you try to do it on your own, forget it. It just won't work. She really, really wanted to see her family, but she needed to finalize her, her process so that she can get uh, residency. And so we did that and um, it, was, it, was really, it was really wonderful. And I was so relaxed and impressed on the day that we sat with the officials. And I never forget the lady had this little rubber thing on her, on her finger and she flipping through the pages really fast and it was like hundreds of them. And she says, yep, yep, everything looks good here. And now, they just get to live their lives and travel all over.
I've been um, very um, lucky to have gotten um, some very nice um, young people to work in our office. A couple of them, two of them actually are in law school now, uh, but when they came, one especially had no uh, legal experience and um, and then seeing them go and seeing them do good is just very, uh, very gratifying. My name is Basarat Kapada. Um, I'm at John Marshall law, uh, law School right now. I was an intern at Eden's uh, law firm from 2015, um, December of 2015, uh, all the way to uh, almost September of 2016. Once you're established a little bit, um, it's getting the right people. Uh, to work with you, then that becomes more like a challenge. One of the times that I had difficulty uh, getting to work, um, I locked my car, I'm, uh, my keys in my car, and I had to, I knew like I had to be on time because I, I, you know, I respect Eden's work and that we deal with a lot of immigrants and who have like families back home where they're trying to bring. So um, I wanted to be on time. So uh, the only way I could get to work was my motorcycle. And, you know, of course, unfortunately, um, my motorcycle did not have any uh, oil in it and it wouldn't start. So I had to go, like, you know, uh, find my uh, <laughs> a lawnmower oil and pour it in there. And uh, just, you know, and my whole shirt, dress shirt and dress pants, you know, just rode my bike to, to work. And, you know, we were just you know, shocked or surprised that I even tried to come there. But, you know, I, I think I had a lot of respect for what we did. Um, and also respect being on time. So I learned that from her, a lot of those things actually. So. There was a mother who had um, two, um, who had twins who just gave birth to twins and then got completely uh, paralyzed. And so her husband was overseas and getting him here was, uh, it was kind of stuck in the process. So that case was very meaningful to see. It's not easy nowadays that with the immigration process, especially in the time we're on right now, um, it's not easy as it was, you know, even back then it wasn't easy because they have a system of making sure that it's not, you know, a fraudulent case. So this person was in dire need of, you know, assistance. Because she's paralyzed, she has these babies, they're twins, and so um, you know, people, everybody in the community was coming different times to help her, and so she did not know she could become a citizen. You know, you've been here for more than the time that's needed to become a citizen. And so we went through that process, she got her citizenship, and that made it very easy for her husband to come. Cases such as um, Aster, that was her name, um, just have... Um, are very touching, are more meaningful, and it just really, really does make me proud to be, to be an attorney and resolving people's like problems, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. I love my work. I love it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do anything else. <laughs>